and we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, th I, I know that there is a known known bug with the library. Um, there are definitely some strange sounds oops. coming from this side of the room. Luckily, we didn't really lose much time. Um, I've managed to avoid this before, so I'm gonna stay hopeful. Shit, that did not sound good. I think we're good. Well, that's just swell. And by good, I mean not great. Did they, uh... Is this covered under their lease? Oh, shit. He's dead. The beam must have fallen and dead. crushed his skull. D-E-D -E -D dead. Will he stop staring at the creepy dead guys? Oh shit, there's... My god! There are bodies buried in the walls. Jesus Christ. At least that explains the stench. Some of them have been here a while. I thought there were only 20 people in this cult. Holy shit! Alright, that scared the fuck out of me. Oh, okay. This is fine. There's no way that the, uh... This went through city approval, right? Oh, yeah. No, fuck this. Fuck this. This sink would be used for scrubbing up. Yeah. Jesus Dead Christ. bodies. And plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. Jack, you are way too calm about this. In all my time on the job, I've never seen anything like this before. From the markings, he must have been one of their own. I wonder if he volunteered. Look, some low-res toes. We just step on him. Desecrate the bodies. It's fine. Jack, you're... I... Mm. Oh, look, some ketchup and mustard. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. And ketchup and mustard. What the fuck is this? You guys know the uh, the city planning board would have a fucking fit if they saw this shit, right? Oh god! All right. You know what? I uh, I think the planning board might have a little bit of an issue with this. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Looks like his kidneys. Oh, these are kidneys. They're moving around and all that liquid. No. This pipe must drain the waste from his intestines. Yum. Looks like his brain. I wonder what those wires are for. Are we still... You are moving. Ah! It's too hot to pick up. Finally, Jack's ocean of emotion. Looks like his stomach. Stomach. The lungs. contraption above seems to be controlling his breathing. All right. His beating heart. Creepy. Good. God, what the hell is all this? You're, uh, you are empty, sir. Oh shit, we can get right up on you. I've never seen such equipment before. Who could have made such a machine? Uh, valid point. Valid point. I I'm not entirely sure we have this technology available to us, nor do we have the creepy Necron gems. Um... I've never seen equipment like this before. Uh, Necrons. This is... Oh boy. We just leave. Oh god. I have to go back and do something about that, don't I? What is... I'm guessing I can interact with this oh, in some fa- Oh, sh fucking- Nope. No, thank you. I'm good. Sorry, Jack. Oh, oh. Sorry, friend. Uh, at least he's out of his misery. 
you clearly have a brain in there. Whose brain is that? This is not how we cram for the midterms, Jeffrey. Uh, at least he's out of his misery. Uh, Jack, you just straight up murdered a dude who had no internal organs. I feel like, once again, you should be a little concerned about all the of this. The crystal's still warm. Okay, I guess we're just gonna take that now. We'll ignore the fact that it almost killed us last time we touched it. It's fine. Okay, I guess we're locking ourselves this in. This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. Yeah. Yeah, I I'm not too enthusiastic about it either, Jack. Uh, no more corpses in the walls. That's probably a good sign, right? Alright. I've read enough sci-fi bullshit to know where this is going. It's too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. Weird, if only you were this careful with the first one. Alright. Uh, Jack, I honestly... Oh, we could just... Jack, I had no idea why you pressed that button last time you touched it. It killed the other man. There was no guarantee that this wasn't just going to electrocute you or something. Also, where are the fucking police? Or the city planning committee? Or is this a Stargate? This looks suspiciously like a Stargate. What the hell is that? It's a Stargate. Uh, it's a terror in the textures. Oh boy. Bunch of robot zombies are gonna come out of there and... gonna turn us into mush. It looks like something's been removed from it. Alright. Oh right, you have to go through the menus to do this. Uh, that, okay. I mean, at least it's easy. You just click on the thing, but I don't see if why if you have one thing in your inventory and you just have to click on the thing. You can't just put it in the thing. I guess I guess it would take away some of the the experimentation. The the. Can I jump in here? No, Jack is too sensible for that. He's too sensible for that, but he's he's perfectly fine with running into a building filled with armed lunatics with nothing but his wit and bare fists. Jack, you are either a consummate badass or the dumbest person I have ever met in my life. I'm gonna guess it's the latter. Oh god. Am I gonna get electrocuted? Okay, just close the door. That's fine. A little bit of shaky cam. Oh, we are gonna get electrocuted. Oh, fuck. It is a Stargate. Uh. Um. That big. Oh, oh Jack. Oh, you're fucked. Bye, Jack. Is that the thing from the picture? No, oh, that's it. Game's over. GG, guys. GG. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we will get to. Oh, there's more. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours. Only to find me later collapsed on the floor. Oh, when yeah. my eyes you opened straight up and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, 
where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things because from you that don't day, use your knees. More than six years passed. You're a monster, no Jack. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. <laughs> I mean, the only thing in the paper bin, apparently. Oh gosh, it's a dollar. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Did you seriously change your uh, mind for a dollar? It's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast. Not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this. J Ugh, what the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Jack. Jack, come on. Grow a pair. Jesus Christ. It's. That is. It is literally a pile of singles, Jack. You are not a stripper. You are better than this. You are a private investigator. Have... <sighs> Not that there's anything wrong with being a stripper. Choose what career you want. But God fucking damn it, Jack. <sighs> New client. February 6th, 1922. Night. I have a new client, Mr. Arthur Anderson, the regional manager of the First National Grocery Store chain. It appears that the First National Grocery in Innsmouth has recently burg burglarized, and its manager, one Brian Burnham, is missing. From what I've been able to gather, Burnham is something of a young rogue. A friend of the family, Mr. Anderson, gave him the job as a favor. Burnham is looking like the prime suspect for the robbery, but there are a few things that don't add up, not to Anderson and not to me. For instance, why would Burnham force an entry into the store when he had a full set of keys, free access to the cash register, and a combination to the back office safe? To misdirect any investigation? If that was his plan, then why did he disappear? Following my conversation with Mr. Anderson, I found out that I could about I found out what I could about the ancient town of Innsmouth. For generations, the crumbling seaport and its people have been shunned by neighboring communities. Outsiders are unwelcome there, and there are superstitious tales of a strange element in the town's oldest families. They are of mixed blood, so the stories go, whatever that's supposed to mean. The usual hick town prejudice, no doubt. Because you've definitely never seen anything to justify anything... odd, perhaps? After making a brief visit to Innsmouth, my client came away distrustful of, of the local authorities. He isn't buying their line that Burnham robbed the place and wants to know what happened to him. Only one bus goes to Innsmouth, and tomorrow afternoon I will be on it. It feels good to have a purpose after five months of trying to break through my amnesia. I also feel a little apprehensive. Maybe it's the wild stories about the town, or maybe it's just because I haven't had a case in so long. Or maybe it's because you lost six years of your life, you dumb son of a bitch. God 
damn it. I do not expect the reader to believe what I'm about to relate. Any sane mind must reject a fantastic tale, and yet, yeah, god damn it, having a decent computer means you can never read those. If you really want it, pause the video. I am so sorry. <laughs> Driver, how far to the stop? Almost there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. Oh, Why lock the wobble. gates? Cape Sound Wanderer is looking for work. We don't want no folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after her own. Got a serious case of fishy cotton out there. It's, uh, yeah, that's a solid statue. Looks a little short. This is it, stranger. End of the line. Heads up. I'll I'll show myself out. Nice, uh, nice place you got here. Solid, solid wooden bus. I mean, I guess it is the 20s, I can't complain that much. Mm. Oh, Jesus fuck, when did you get off the bus? I've been standing in front of the door. I'm the sneaking. next stop is Newburyport. Can I get back on? Friend, your, your side view mirror is broken. You're never going to pass inspection like that, you know that, right? Actually, your... Your rear view mirror isn't... Doesn't really seem to be worth... I... I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... I don't... I don't want to cause any... Any trouble. I'm just trying to... Trying to help out here. Go hey, how are I'm you? I'm looking for Brian. Just Burn. leave me be, stranger. All right. You don't even have a left-hand winch shield. Man, you are a beefy man, aren't you? You're a big boy. What is... What is wrong with your face? Oh my god, your eyes are so far apart. Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. Your eyes do not move in the same direction oh, well, at the same time. See, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. Have you he seen a little girl? Don't know who you're talking about, fella. Have you seen a little girl? Oops, sorry, I'll give chit chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. It's just a trash can. Nothing <laughs> of interest. It's garbage, jeez. It won't budge. It won't budge. It won't open. That one will open. It won't budge. Won't budge. I've been playing too much Zelda lately. These are the offices of the local newspaper, the Innsmouth Courier. Uh, ooh. What is this? Uh, and enemies? supposed to be here. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here. Yep. 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 Nope. It's fine. Oh, the first national. This is a place of... Oh, I have to go in there, don't I? Wow, this is actually a pretty big town, and this is, this is dark. It won't open. Won't open. I would, uh... Kill for a save point right about now. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked. I never heard of no Burnham. All right. So you you appear to have something on your your neck. I can't really see because it's super low res and you won't stop moving. Do you have gills, sir? Can you can I jump on your head? I don't know. 
no, come back. <sighs> Had it. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. Innsmouth, to her sons who died for liberty. 1975, 19, 1781, excuse me. It's, uh, hmm. Really, uh, I don't know, guys, I'm stumped on this one. I'll show myself out. Uh, you. Oh, I talked to you already. Hey, that buddy. That way is blocked by a police line. Yes, it is. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. Uh, ropes. Elliot ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No. I'm not sure you Jack has never I'm been after funny directions in his life. To the first national. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. Thanks, Copper. Do you do you that fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. You've got... You also have gills, sir. Why can I not jump over this? Can I go down here? It's locked. It must lead to the back of the variety store. <laughs> you have gills. You also have... Okay, I'm uncomfortable. Uh, I, I feel like the game wanted me to go in here. I guess we'll make a trip. Have the First fun. National's a large chain. You sure you haven't seen it? I'm sure. Stop bothering me with questions. It's across the street, dude. We passed it on the way into town. It's right there. It's on the other side of the statue. Jesus Christ, it's not that hard to see over. It's missing the top part. Outsiders coming, snooping around when they ain't wanted. What the f... It's literally right. Never mind. Have fun with your empty bus and your raving insanity. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, ooh. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. A dusty assortment of old books. All right, guys. I uh, I think we're gonna call it here for tonight. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave any comments, questions, concerns, kangaroos, coconuts down in the comments. And I will get back to everyone ASAP. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if I should continue reading the notes as is, or if I should save them all for the end of the episode, read them all then, or just, like, flick through them so you can pause it and read it on your own. Uh, let me know what you guys want. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and have a nice evening.